Hello bloggers. Hi, um, since it's Christmas, I thought I'd try something a little different, and I decided to do my first ever video film review. Um, so it's going to be insane to see if it's actually any good or not. Um, I've had a little bit of technical difficulty. I've got my video camera, uh, but I don't have my USB cable, so I'm actually filming this from my iPhone, so if it looks really crap, that's why. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to give it a go and I'll see if it's any good. And uh, if I think it looks alright and it works out okay, then I might do another one. Uh, but if not, then I'll leave it and I'll continue to just write them. So it's just a tester, really, and I just thought, you know, it's Christmas, so let's try something different. Um, I probably picked a really bad film to actually do my first video review on, because the director's name is ridiculous. Um, so I'm going to have to refer to a poster to actually remember how to say his name. But nevertheless, uh, the first film I'm going to review is The Tourist. It's my little prop here. This is Angelina Jolie and Johnny Depp together. Mm. Boom. Venice boat. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, as you can see, obviously, they look stunning, as always. And uh, the director's name, which I'm going to have to refer to this, I'm afraid. Sorry, I know who he is, but is a uh, Florian Henkel von Donnersmark. Try and say that in a game of like Ring of Fire or something. And uh, <laughs> he directed The Lies of Others, which was the really successful art German film in 2006 um, that was set, I think, in the 80s, sort of around the time of like the falling of the Berlin Wall. And it's about the police listening in to secret conversations that people were having and the government were having. And he did very, very well. Um, he got lots of critical acclaim. It won an Oscar, and I believe it won a BAFTA, but I'm not certain on that. But anyway, it, d it did very well critically, and in generally, I think in box office it did quite well too. So consequently, Hollywood have jumped on the bandwagon, and seen this filmmaker has potential, and they've given him a chance to make a Hollywood movie. And this is what he's done. Now, interesting enough, like, this is his first Hollywood film, but it's not even set in America, it's set in Venice. Um, and the story is, Frank Tupelo, which is Johnny Depp's character, he is a tourist who is travelling from Paris to Venice. And here he meets Elise, which is Angie and Jolie. And um, they have a really strange sort of chemistry, a strange meeting. She meets him on a train. She's very mysterious. He's very silly. He's a maths teacher and he's very, you know, awestruck by how gorgeous she is and why is she coming and talking to him. And then from then on, their relationship ensues. And um, Elise, his husband, is called Alexander Pierce, who is wanted by various federal companies, wanted by the French police, wanted by the Italian police, wanted by New Scotland Yard particularly. Um, and the head of that is Paul Bettany's character. And basically, Angela Jolie's duty is to get on this train to Venice, find somebody who has a similar physique, similar look to Alexander Pierce, and get the police to believe that's him. So consequently, Johnny Depp is the full guy, and he's that's his job. And... Um, yeah, so he is basically caught in this web. He's completely unaware that he's part of this caper, this part of this chase. Paul Bettany is after Alexander Pierce, who's not. He's actually after Johnny Depp, who's Frank Tupelo, who's innocent. And Angelina Jolie's wrapped them all up in this web, as she does, you know, because she's tricked them in, because she's beautiful, she's mysterious, she's strangely conniving and incredibly likeable. And she has a odd British accent, which is, it is quite good. I mean, I know she's like, she's... Stepdaughter to John Voight, I think. What was it? Stepdaughter to John Voight? She's definitely to do with John Voight, so, you know, it's fair enough there is some sort of English in her. Um, so, yeah, and that's basically it. It's very much like a 60s caper movie. There's lots of chasing. So Paul Bettany's after Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp's confused. Angie and Lo Jolie is playing them both for a fool. It's all wrapped up. It's, it, it's very, very obvious in many ways. Um, but it's, it's very nice. It's, quite, it's, a, it's a fun film to watch. Um, it's pretty. It's forgettable. You know, it's it's nothing particularly interesting and amazing. It's not. It's not brilliant. But what it does do is it does entertain quite largely. It's definitely worth watching on a Saturday, like Friday Saturday night film. It's a popcorn flick, definitely. Uh, Angie and Jolie and uh, Johnny Depp look beautiful. Obviously, you can tell from the poster they're going to look beautiful. They ride around in lots of boats. They go fast in lots of boats. Uh, which is obviously awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, so in its actual in its merit, it's very entertaining. It's fun. It's dumb as hell. It's immensely stupid. Completely 
unplausible. It doesn't make any sense in many ways, but what it does do is it does satisfy. It's worth a watch. Paul Bettany's very good. He does his typical sort of madman, manic, depre well, not depressant, but manically driven by this idea. It's like, oh, we have to get Alexander Pierce. This is all I need to do. Much like he does with his characters in other movies, you know. So it's definitely worth a watch. It's a good laugh. It's, you know, it's fine. You see it, good, bang, gone. The end of it. If I was going to give it stars, I'd give it three out of five. Oh, it's very beautiful to look at. So this Venice is lovely. It's directed very well. And the stars are great. They have good chemistry, good fun. But it, it, it's nothing major. Um, but it's certainly not a terrible film, which is what most critics have been saying it is. It's got sort of like one or two star reviews, which is ridiculous. Um, it's perfectly entertaining and it's perfectly adequate. Um, I would definitely go watch it. So, yeah, three out of five from me. Um, yeah, this has been my first video vlog, so I have no idea if it's any good. I'm going to have a look, see if I like it, and if it is, it might go online. But uh, anyway, Merry Christmas, thank you for watching, and take care. Bye-bye.